Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Software Elevation Views tutorial. Creating elevation views of your walls in Pro Kitchen is easy and can be done in various ways. After they're created, you can rename them, organize them, edit the arrangement next to your other view panels, and also place and edit objects in elevation views. Let's get started. The first way to create an elevation view is to left click to select the wall you want to create an elevation view of, and once selected you should see the green wall handles. Then, with the wall selected, click on the elevation icon in the top toolbar. Your elevation view panel will automatically pop open above your floor plan view panel. It's important to understand that the elevation views are created by rendering the objects and elements that you have placed inside of the selected wall's placement zone, the area that's outlined by a dotted line on your floor plan. So any object inside of that placement zone is what you'll see in your elevation view. The second way to create an elevation view is to go back to your floor plan and right click on the wall you wish to create an elevation view of and select the wall number from the sub menu to open its right click toolbox. From its toolbox, select the inside elevation. The last way to create an elevation view is with your elevation view panel open, select the wall you want to create an elevation view of from your floor plan, and then click on the little plus sign next to your elevation view tabs at the top left of your elevation view panel. The tabs in your elevation view panel are all of your created elevations. By default, ProKitchen will name them L1, L2, L3, etc. You can rename each tab by right-clicking on it and selecting Edit L1 from the submenu. A dialog box will appear and let you rename your selected elevation view tab and then click OK to save. You can also right-click on a tab to delete it if you've accidentally create a duplicate of your elevation views. The elevation view panel can be closed by clicking the X in the top right-hand corner. And then to reopen the elevation view panel to see your created elevations, simply open the Views and Settings tab at the top and click on the Elevation View Panel button. You can rearrange the elevation view panel in your interface to better fit your workflow. Simply left click in the blue header area of the view panel and drag it with your mouse. Hover your mouse over the area you wish to move your view panel to and drop it once you see the area indicated by a purple highlight. To create elevation views of items that were placed in the placement zones of construction lines, like islands for example, Simply right-click and select the construction line, and from its right-click toolbox, you'll see there are two options, inside elevation and outside elevation. The outside elevation will appear anytime you have the outside placement zone turned on for construction lines or walls. That can be done by opening the attributes of either a wall or a construction line and enabling the zone inside or zone outside. Selecting inside elevation will create an elevation view of the objects placed in the inside wall zone of the construction line. And selecting outside elevation will create an elevation view of the objects placed in the outside wall zone of the construction line. Designers can reorganize the order in which their elevation view tabs are placed by left clicking and dragging and dropping each tab into a new position. You can also undock each elevation view tab to view multiple elevation views at one time. 
This works the same way we reposition the entire elevation view panel to be side by side with the floor plan. Left clicking and dragging the tab out and dropping it into a new position in the interface. Then, when you click on the X of each undocked view tab, it will snap back to your original elevation view panel. With the elevation view panel, users can place, edit, and reposition objects just like on the floor plan. To place, simply find the object you want to place and then click to place it on the elevation view instead. All objects in elevation views can be selected and right click to open their toolbox and utilize the editing tools to reposition, modify, copy, or delete them. This gives designers all the tools they need to accurately position elements throughout their designs using various perspectives. Lastly, you can change the appearance for each elevation view tab to fit your specific project needs. Simply right-click on an empty area of the grid of a selected elevation view tab, and from the submenu, you can Select Hide Automatic Dimensions to hide the automatic dimension lines on this elevation view only. Select Display All Dimensions to show all of the automatic dimension lines. And select Display Settings to open the display settings for the selected view tab. In the display settings, you can use the Layers tab to choose whether or not to display certain elements and also how you want to display them. The Themes tab will let you change the color theme of the objects in your selected view tab. And the Measurements tab will let you turn certain objects' dimensions on or off, change the dimensions to a centerline measurement if needed, and also change the style of the dimension lines. The Selection and Grid tab lets you change the appearance of your background grid and the outline that appears when you select objects. And then the Save and Load tab lets you save your display settings to load and use for other designs created in Pro Kitchen. You can also reset your View tab back to the Pro Kitchen default. Then, click OK to save and you'll see the changes have only been applied to your selected view tab and the others are still set the same. And that's it! Now you're ready to start creating and e editing elevation views in your Pearl Kitchen projects.